It's a method used in virus control dating back nearly a century. But these days, contact tracing is being revamped thanks to smartphone technology. You could take my cell phone data and find all the other phones that were within a six foot uh, uh, distance of me in the last several days when I may have been infectious, and you could immediately and automatically send an alert to all those phones. Nearly 30 countries are using mobile data to help with contact tracing. South Korea late last month launched the COVID-19 smart management system. It uses data including from credit card companies, smartphone makers and the police to track contacts. South Korea already had a text messaging service that allowed residents to check maps tracking the latest location of new confirmed cases. In Singapore, the app Trace Together was created in late March. It works using Bluetooth to connect with other smartphones that have the app installed. If a user tests positive for COVID-19, it alerts any other users who came within two meters of that user. But concerns have been raised over data privacy, including by U.S. President Donald Trump. Uh, it's very interesting, but a lot of people worry about it in terms of a person's freedom. We're going to take a look at that, a very strong look at it. The U.S., the country hardest hit by the coronavirus, has yet to roll out a nationwide contact tracing program. But growing calls from health experts may mean privacy concerns could be brushed aside as the fight against COVID-19 continues. Timothy Ulrich, CGTN.